Hello, today I'm going to show you which view options do we have for Sprint Backlog. Okay, let's jump to the project. When we are in project, we are going to choose boards, and under the boards, we will choose sprints. And after a while, when the sprint will be loaded, you will see that we have multiple options for that particular sprints, how to view it. So you can see that I have here, okay, if I go to task board, that I can see user stories and all states and, uh, uh, and uh, all tasks in particular states which belongs to particular user stories. Okay, I have two, three user stories and you can see that I have some things which are also here, tasks under uh, which belongs to user stories. Now I can go here, view options, and I'm going to talk today only about these view options. Now I can see stories and all tasks for user stories. If I go to people, you will see that it says ordering card is disabled because the task board is grouped by people. Let me show you what it means. I cannot drag and drop this one, okay? So let's say creates good table is, is not uh, important as create invoice table. On the other hand, if I want to do that, sorry, if I want to do that, I can go here in view options, okay? If I go to stories, I can do this like, let's say design uh, good screen is uh, more important than design a customer screen. Or I can move it up and down, okay? To make different priorities. We, uh, because this is sorted, okay, here in view options by stories. If I go to the people, I don't, I don't have ability to do that. And I can, of course, now, because I choose a group by people, in my daily, I'm using this one. So I'm talking with John, what did you do yesterday? What are you planning to do today? Are there any obstacles on your way? Mary, now it's your turn. Paula, it's your turn. Peter, it's your turn. And so on and so on. Okay, no matter if you choose people or stories, you can side pan, have side pen, and that side pen can be turned off, can have a planning, in planning, you will see that this is a, a, a current sprint, that we have three user stories and uh, uh, 12 tasks. And uh, 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 for sprint two, spr sprint three, and sprint four, or we can add a new sprint, but we start with current sprint, because sprint one is not current sprint, so you can see planning. So how can you... Now you can say, okay, create invoice is going to be in Sprint 2. Now I can go here and I can go to Sprint 1, Sprint 2, sorry. I can go to Taskboard and I can say this one is going to be in Sprint 1. No, in, not in Sprint 2. Okay? And now I can see that everything is in Sprint number one. So basically, when I go to sprint number one here, I can, if I see that someone will not be finished or should be finished in, in next sprint, or it's replanned, so it shouldn't be finished uh, because I have some other tasks which are a priority or task, I can just drag and drop and put in whatever sprint I want when I'm in planning tab. But if I choose work details, I will see, as i shown you in multiple videos, and I will use it all the time, especially during my daily meeting, how I, am I standing? Okay, so sprint one from June 5, uh, 5th to June 16th, now is June 7th, and I will talk with Paula and see that Paula, Paula is over allocated. But maybe Paula did some job and let's say that she did, and that was 
all, uh, all explained in video, explained in video number 25, uh, 21, Sprint Backlog Update a Taskboard. So basically, on daily meeting, what I want to show you is that I'm using work details, okay? At the end of the sprint, when something is not finished, or during the sprint, when I need to move from one sprint to, other sprint, to another sprint, then I use planning. But on daily meeting, I am using work details to see how are we progressing and who is over-allocated or under-allocated, so it means that John has less work than he is capable to do. So basically, those are view options which can you use, and you, will go, you can use whichever suits you for a particular reason or in particular meeting, planning, daily, whatever. I can combine this. I can say, okay, I want stories and work details, okay, or I want stories with planning. I can do that. Or I can want people. And one last thing. When I'm at people, I can hear, say, I want task from John. Okay? And now I will see all tasks from John and everything else will be collapse, collapsed. Let's say, so it will not show. Let's say that I want all. Okay all people, all resources. Let's go back here and let's say that I want to see stories. If I now, I will turn this off, if I now want to see John, you will see that this works in a way that, once again, take a good look, everything is bright white here, but if I choose, for example, John, you will see that the tasks which don't belong to John are going to be grayed out, and every single task which belongs to John is white. So let me go here and choose Mary. You will see that now John's tasks are uh, grayed out, and Mary's tasks are visible in a white color. So basically that's it, and you are going to use it all the time. Hope this helps. Have a nice day.